You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, has received a letter from the World Health Organization Director General Tedros Adhanom. The WHO chief indicated in the letter that the Secretariat of WHO Regional Office for the Eastern Mediterranean would participate in His Royal Highness the Premier's Award for Distinguished Doctors in Therapeutic and Medical Research. He accepted the invitation to participate in and cooperate with the award committee and to provide support for the Bahraini Doctors' Day, which is dedicated to honoring Bahraini health cadres. The WHO Director General expressed delight at participating in the first celebration to be held by Bahrain on November the 4th of 2020, marking the Bahraini Doctors' Day and the distribution of His Royal Highness the Premier's Award for Distinguished Doctors in Therapeutic and Medical Research. WHO Chief congratulated to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister of the designation of the Bahraini Doctors' Day to be observed on the first Wednesday of each November, noting that there is increasing evidence at the world level that the appreciation of the medical staff contributes to improving their performance. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamedan, has expressed his gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his directives that to continue to safeguard the health and safety of citizens and residents and contribute to ensuring the sustainability of the national economy by promoting a unified government response to COVID-19 and preventing liquidity strains. The Minister paid special tribute for the support extended by a Cabinet chaired by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the continued support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The minister explained that the government has continued its commitment to keeping Bahrain's communities safe and supporting local businesses during these unprecedented times by paying 50% of the salaries of insured Bahrainis and the most adversely affected enterprises in the private sector for a period of three months starting from July 2020 from the Unemployment Insurance Fund. The government's decision follows the cabinet's approval to pay 50% of the salaries of insured Bahraini employees working in the private sector for a period of three months after setting the requirements of eligible individuals and identifying the sectors most adversely affected by COVID-19. The social insurance organization will pay from the Unemployment Insurance Fund a maximum of 50% of the salaries of the Bahrainis working in the private sectors and the companies most adversely affected by the global pandemic, provided that the Bahraini employee is insured at as of the end of June 2020 or is employed and insured through the National Employment Program by the end of the month that precedes the date of disbursement. As for the requirements and eligibility criteria, Maidan explained that the entity receiving the support must have operated in one of the sectors adversely affected by the global pandemic, which caused its business activities to be wholly or partially disrupted and impacting its ability to meet the wages of its employees, retained its Bahraini employees during the year 2020, and expressed commitment to paying the remaining portion of the salaries of the Bahraini employees in full and without deduction and on the date set for salary payments. Commenting further, Hamidan praised the government's commitment to ensuring that the Bahraini citizens remain the core focus of its development initiatives, affirming the government's continued support for citizens amidst the global pandemic. He expressed gratitude to employers for their cooperation with the Ministry of Labor and Social Development and their commitment to implementing the relevant decisions in the public interest. Hamidan stressed that the Ministry will review the list of employers who benefited from the support provided in the first financial and economic stimulus package and will determine the companies most adversely affected. He noted that the the list of eligible companies will then be referred to the SIO in order to transfer the necessary payments during the fourth week of every month. Satisfaction among customers with the services provided by the Ministry of Labor and Social Development has reached 90% in the first six months of the year. The number of Bahraini citizens, residents and institutions who use the National Suggestion and Complaints System Tawassal for inquiries, observations, complaints or proposals from January to June has considerably increased compared with the same period last year, reaching 2,361, up from 631 according to the Ministry. Tawassal is one of the essential e-channels that enables citizens and residents to submit their suggestions and complaints to any government entity in Bahrain easily at a time and from everywhere. Every government entity in Tawassal has assigned a dedicated team to handle the suggestions and complaints according to a preset performance indicator and time frame based on the case category. The ministry's undersecretary Sabah Salem Dosari said they used Tawassal to respond quickly to requests from individuals and institutions and not to exceed the time frame specified for the response that was agreed upon with the Information and E-Government Authority, the IGA. Dosari added dedicated teams of 43 employees at the ministry follow up on every matter that reaches them even during the weekends and official holidays to ensure prompt responses and solutions to their problems. 
The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 4,722 with 693 recoveries and 511 registered new cases. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirm the importance of following instructions such as washing one's hands with soap and water on a regular basis, along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact. Moreover, covering the nose and mouth when sneezing and avoiding public spaces when possible.